Hi guys. Ah, this has to be one of the most frustrating interviews Nick Ferrari has had with the Tory minister ever. So Michael Tomlinson, the illegal immigration minister, was asked about the removal of the whip from Lee Anderson over his anti-Muslim comments. However, the memo Michael had probably received from number 10 ahead of the interview was just to repeat the same pointless response. If challenged, double down and don't break. This resulted in the LBC host having to end the interview following some deep frustration with the Tory minister. Have a listen to this. Why was it necessary for Lee Anderson to have the whip suspended? Where was the tolerance well, there? Well, I, I, Nick, res- respectfully, I, th- I think what Lee said was wrong. Yeah. And as a result, of, well, as a result of what he said, he had the the whip removed from him. That's that's but what was it action. specifically that meant the whip had to go? We agree it was wrong, but why was it wrong? Nick, it, it was wrong. What no, no, Lee but why said, was it wrong? What he said was wrong. As a result of what he said, the whip was removed from him. That was robust action. No, that was why robust was it action wrong? that was that's taken. What I'm trying to get at. Um, it was wrong, Nick, because of what he said, and robust no, action was it. taken so as a result. Well it was t- it was... Let's try this a different way. Was it Islamophobic? What he said was wrong, and robust was... action was taken, no. and the whip was removed within 24 but, hours. Minister, was it Islamophobic? And Nick, it was wrong. Minister, I'm going to, and I, I'm never, I'm normally a very polite man, I'm actually going to effectively put the fact, I'll ask you now, for the third time, I've asked you six times why it was necessary, for the third time, was it Islamophobic? Uh, Nick, it was wrong. I'll have to curtail the interview there. I'm grateful for <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> was it Islamophobic? It was wrong. What did he say that was wrong? It was wrong. This is absolutely pathetic. Now, why is he doing this? Why is he tying himself up in knots, just repeating the same stupid response? Because they have to be as vague as possible. Because they need to keep the racists and bigots on board. They can't come out and say, well, it was Islamophobic because this is opening a can of worms. Because there are other Tory MPs, particularly, for example, Suella Braveman, Liz Truss, who've been down this road as well. So if you if you admit that it was Islamophobic, then you're actually going to have to remove the whip from other MPs. So you keep it as vague as possible. Was it Islamophobic? It was wrong. <laughs> what did you do wrong? He was wrong, or it was wrong. It's pathetic, absolutely pathetic. But it, once again, it's two things, I think. It's, if you admit that it was Islamophobic, it was anti-Muslim, then you're obviously going to have to remove the whip from other MPs. But also, I think it's another thing. The Tories don't want to lose support from racists and bigots. They don't want to see more and more people moving to Reform UK. So they have to chase this section of society but they can't be open about chasing them so they have to say that lee anderson said whatever lee anderson said was wrong but they can't admit what he actually said was wrong they can't describe the words themselves as wrong because otherwise they'll end up in a position where they'll have to admit as i said before that (laughs) lee anderson was was being anti-muslim islamophobic and then of course that will open them up to having to point the finger at other MPs and say, well, they'll have to go as well. Lee Anderson was sacked. He lost the whip not because of his comments, because of the reaction to the comments. Number 10, Rishi Sunak would have been happy just to ignore the situation and move on. But they realized after a bit that there are Muslim MPs and people who are not happy with Islamophobia in the party who are putting pressure on number 10 and say, look, Lee Anderson can't stay, he has to go. And this pathetic, (laughs) it was wrong, he was wrong, just shows how incompetent they are, but also how they're attempting to protect MPs in the party while trying to chase this vote. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.